Good morning everyone. Thanks for all the viewing on the last videos that I've been uploading. Uh, much appreciated. The old thumbs up are helping the channel stay alive. So yeah, today I'm out on a permission not been to before. Um, so, but it's a good area. So hopefully we'll get some good finds up. I'll be running the XP-2 today in the 0.71 version update and I'll be running general setting, adjusted and probably program two. Right, I'll see you on the first one. Okay, we got a first signal here. It's a high one, late 80s, early 90s. And we got ourselves a thimble. There you go. So that's the first uh, good target. Right, what I'll do, I'll just talk you through what I've done on the machine. So I'm in general one. I've reduced the discrimination down to minus 6.4. I've gone in five tone. So we've got to hair everything with this. I've took the tone one down to 120 kilohertz. Um, what we got? Tone two, 395. Tone three, 644. Tone four, 725. And 800 in tone five. So basically, um, you'll hear um, all the the low stuff in the first kilohertz and as soon as you get good signal basically that'll pop out at you um, you shouldn't need to look at your screen at all um, I'll show you in a little while uh, what I mean on a live demo okay what I did forget to say I think I've lowered the reactivity to two so we're getting longer tones um, you are still quick and you're getting the depth as well so sensitivity 95 iron th iron volume 3 and reactivity 2 okay okay so we've got a good example here right so you can hear this low tone here That's coming through zero zero, so we'd, so we'd leave that. It's either trash or iron. Another one there, which is minus three. But this one here is popping out. Look. Another low tone there. But we've got something in in between, just here. Look. So that's a 60, so we'll dig that. Might be a bit of trash, but these are the sort of signals that sort of pop out at you. Still in the hole. Not quite got my digging right there. But that's me, that's user error. It's a bit awkward trying to film and dig at the same time, but. Right, so it's popped out at the back there. Still maintaining the idea of 60. Now there you go. Now is that? It's looking like it. Looked like a cut half, and that was live demo. Look at that. Brilliant. I'll give it a clean up and then I'll come back. But there you go, that's a live one for you. So that's what we're looking out for them sort of tones that jump out at you. Ideal. Right, I'll give it a clean up. 
Okay, so that's the best I can clean it up in the field. We've got a voided short cross, four pellets. Nice little hammered. Not much detail, but I'm sure someone can get an identification on this one. You can see the scepter there on the left hand side, just down there. And then you can see part of the the crown just there. So I'm sort of, I see you've got to be a Richard, Henry or a John. So yeah, nice one. That's a great early find that is. And managed to get it live with a little live demo. Brilliant. Right, let's try and find some more. Right, this one here, that's a really high tone, sort of jumped out at me, literally four or five inches deep. Eighty-seven. Now look at this. Just this here. Got it in the light. It's got some good detail on it. Unsure on this one, but that looked interesting. If anyone know what that is, uh, feel free to pop it in the old comments for us. But there you go. Nice little find. Crack and signal. Interesting. Okay, so we've got another one here. That's a bit of trash or iron. Then we've got one in between it. On a 70, just in there. I'm hoping that's not the edge of the iron, but we'll see sometimes you have to take a gamble on these signals no, still solid look on the 70 71 go bit of lead but got that in between make sure you cover your holes up get rid of that off of there right let's try and find something else okay this one here about six inches deep 83, 84, and look at this, got ourselves a broken crotal bell, shame it's not complete but sometimes you don't get them, but there you go, look, there you go, bit of a crotal bell, nice. Okay, I've been walking along there. Uh, this has got to be the name of the program, Magnet. Now, I've got one here. 82, that's about six, seven inches deep. Now look at this. In the clod. As you can see. Got to sell some sort of greeny. Think any 
any detector would have picked that up to be fair but there you go bit of coinage probably a George there you go right let's find some more okay so this one here was about 11 inches deep um, getting some good depths with these settings 86 87 um, wait there yeah that is turned up so 86 87 now look at this look at this not cleaned it up yet but I did think that was one of them uh, heraldic pendants at one point but I'm unsure I'll give it a clean okay and I'll come back right so that's the best I can clean it up um, I'm thinking now maybe some sort of horse horse mount it's two fixing points on the back there so yeah I may be wrong if anyone know what that is pop it in the old comments for me nice little find though we'll take that this one here literally a couple of inches under Screaming signal, 84, 85. What's this here? Now look at that. Look at that. If I'm not mistaken, we're on the Roman. Right, I'm going to give this clean up and then I'll come back. Oh yes, that looked a nice one. Right, I'll come back. Okay, totally wrong there. I don't think it's a Roman at all. Unsure what it is. <laughs> Never seen anything like it, to be fair. Anyone know what that is? It's a strange looking one. There's some detail on it. Is it some sort of token or trade weight? I'm going to post this up on the Norfolk Button Boy Facebook group and see what uh, they come up with. Okay, so I've got a good signal here. Sixty-nine, sort of seventy, seventy-one. I have posted uh, that last find up on the Norfolk Button Boy Facebook group if you haven't already. Pop over and join. Some really helpful uh, detectorists on there. What's this? Ah, bit late. But you've got digging, good signals. Right, on to the next. Make sure you fill your holes. Okay, so I've had a reply on the the find I posted up on the Norfolk Button Boy group. That took up around sort of five minutes. Um, Henry um, and Rob has both said that that's a William the Third coin weight. So that's a that's a great find. That is right. I've got one here. Right, so this part here, we're getting a three and a five, which is probably trash. Then we've got this one here jumping out. It's 
64.65 so it's another great signal this program seemed to be working really well I'm liking it I will put the details up in the description on the video so still maintain the identification of 65 Probably a bit of lead, but no. Nope. So we've got ourselves a big old button, big old button for button boy. We'll take that. There you go. Right, let's find another one. Well, hopefully not a button, but we'll see. We'll see what else we can wriggle out. Right, on to the next. Apologies if the wind's coming through, it's uh, quite blustery out here. I've got one here. 69, so that's another good signal. Will it be another little bit of lead? We shall see. Oh, she's dropped to 68. Come on. Ah, bit of lead. Not to worry. We find it all. Right, on to the next. Okay, I've got one here, literally four inches under. Fifty-two. This is now. Look in this clod here. All right. Just get a snapshot, just in case. Now, what would you say that is? Let's have a look. Is it gonna be a button? I'd say it is. There you go, little button, or part of a cuff link, I'd say it's a button, but there you go, I didn't know if that was a hammer, so you never know in these little clods, but that's the excitement of it, you just never know, when you see a bit of metal on edge, that could well be, right let's find another one. Okay, so that's me done. Quick session, but some great finds. Um, really enjoyed it. I think it was just over three hours detecting there. I'm now, uh, I've been invited on to someone else's permission, so I'm quickly wrapping this video up, and then I'll shoot over and uh, finish my day up over there. Right, I'll show you what I got. Okay, so I ran with the XP-2 today. 0.71 version update um, really good really impressed with it general one setting i'll put the set uh, general one program uh, adjusted i'll pop it in the description this is all the trash i dug today loads of bits of lead you know various items there then i've got these are the good bits in between loads of buttons there, uh, a couple of greenies my find of the day I would say is the William III um, coin weight, love that unsure on this item but yeah it's been a great three hour session right thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you on the next one and remember to hit that notification bell then you'll get notifi notified when I upload another video right thanks for watching see you on the next one mm -hmm.